I just made the craziest discovery ever from a box of crayons. Welcome to Unify.tv, where truth has no fear. You're not going to believe what I found. Okay. <clears throat> this is a brand new box of Crayola crayons. Okay. Brand new. Look at that. Brand new. There's 24 colors in here. According to them, there's 24 colors. That's brand new. I'm going to open this so you guys will see that all the crayons are there. Look at that. It's all full. I went through each one of these colors one by one. You're not going to believe what I found. You're, you're really not. I'm going to take my glasses off for this one. You're actually not going to believe this. You look at this. What is white doing in there? White is a, it says white. Look at this. Oh, can't see it. But it, it's in the box. White is a color. Who would have thought? Who would have? It's a color. It's one of the 24. Let me tell you why I'm bringing this up. Because we have this term. This, this crazy term called people of color. People of color. It, it's, it's actually pretty incredible that white is a color too. <laughs> Who would have thought? Learn something new every day. So why are we using this term called people of color? How is it now, if you want to say people of color, how is that any different from the term colored people? Back in the day, the term colored people, some people still use it because they're old school. It doesn't exactly mean they're racist, but you know, back in the day, the term colored people were used to describe black people. They call them colored people. Is that exactly racist? I don't think so. But if you want to look at some of the movies that were put out, some of those people wore rednecks. So I'm not, I don't have anything against the term. I don't have any problem with the N-word because all that means is an ignorant person. If you get mad at someone using the N-word, then you're proving exactly what they may or may not think about you by acting up. And in that case, you are ignorant. That's a whole nother topic. And as ABL would say, I digress. I digress. I'm not going to get into that. So what I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is this. White is a color too. So instead of saying people of color, just say what race. Just say black people. Just say Hispanic people. Just say white people. Just say African people. Whatever race the person is, there's nothing wrong with naming that person by race. As long as you don't classify them by race. As long as their race isn't the only thing you see. It's such a taboo thing to say black person, white person nowadays to where you're trying to be so careful as to not offend anyone. Well, what color are you? What, what color would you like to identify as then? So my thing is this. White is a color. We cannot use the term people of color as if it's any different than the term colored people. It's the same thing. Now, people of color should mean everyone because everyone is a color as evidenced by this box of crayons. Okay. <laughs> I learned a lot from looking at this box. All jokes aside, on a very serious note, we have to stop making every single thing about race. As by now we know there are actually all racially sensitive crayons. There are racially sensitive band-aids. They're trying to make cereal boxes racially sensitive. They want to change our American flag into something that's more inclusive F to black people. For what? For what? This is a problem. Everything is race, and we're taking the focus off what's more important. What's most important is the state of our country and how things could possibly get a whole lot worse before it gets a lot better. That's where our focus needs to be on. It needs to be on unifying. It needs to be on looking past the color of someone's skin. It needs to be looking past the narratives of the media. It needs to be looking past the BS of BLM and the LGBT community and saying that if you don't approve of what they approve of, you're automatically a bigot or racist or stupid or ignorant or you just hate them. No, that's not the case. I just don't subscribe to your magazine. I don't subscribe to your brand. I don't subscribe to your way of thinking. Does that make me a bad person? Definitely not because you don't subscribe to mine, but do I judge you? I definitely do not. I don't agree with it, but I don't judge you either. You're still a human being. God still loves you. And that's all that matters. So the quicker we can get past this so-called race issue in society, the quicker and easier we can all unify. Oh, 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 oh,